Welcome to Shadow Empress Tarot. I am a messenger of the Most High with the power to travel through the shadow realms. I am here to guide you through spiritual warfare so you can achieve your soul's desires. What you need to know is God is my guide, truth is my religion, and my channel is intense shadow work. So if you are mentally or emotionally unstable, you've been warned. What's up, Shadow Gang? I hope you had a fruitful week. Um, it's a lot today on my table. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to thank you for all the subscribes, the likes, the shares, the donations. I really appreciate you. And I got with the donations. I got another two deck of cards and um, actually I hope a man, I swear I was screaming. I'm like, today I saw a gnat come in my house because I went and got my Amazon package and when I got in the house, when I was getting the Amazon package, I was like, oh yeah, that's the devil. But this time I'm like, because I usually don't know where it came from, but I know today. So I hope that bitch don't come flying around. I tried to find it to kill it, but it, you know. But um, um, thank you for the donations. And Melanie, I did what you told me to do with the money that you sent. The cards from Russia, I wanted like six decks, but I did buy one. <laughs> so thank you so much for um, that donation with that particular note to go ahead and buy a Russian deck and I did do that but anyway let me get back on track this this reading has been on my table for about two days and um I try to get out more readings the spirit is like you know literally they told me quality over quantity and this is um, a lesson came attached to this. So this particular reading has compartments. It's compartmentalized and um, you are somebody's inspiration. You are someone's muse. But they cannot handle it. It makes them upset. They compare themselves to you. This is a person that should be happy for you when you win. But you can tell that it's very, very difficult for them to congratulate you. This could be family, a husband, a lover, a best friend. That's, that's you know, only you know who it is. That's one compartment. Two, another compartment that really came through very strong is the first applies that you are this person's muse. They compare themselves to you, but um, you are some type of spiritualist. You may be a reader, whatever, however you help people with your spiritual gifts. It, you could be anything. You don't have to be a reader. You could be a uh, uh, what did you call them things? Um, a prophetess. Uh, what you call them? Were they like prophetic word or whatever? You know what that is. But someone compares themselves to you. They want to be like you. And they are trying to um, basically be at your level. But that makes them a uh, false spiritualist. And this false spiritualist, and this is not this is not really big on magic, but it's a compartment. This this um, person is doing magic to catch up with you. And on a le another level, as a whole, this is a lesson for the collective about the wheel of fortune. So before 
I get into this reading, Spirit wants me to talk about the Wheel of Fortune. And they had told me this when I first pulled it. But when I got up this morning, before I did this reading, like literally the, the ending of my dream was directions on what to do and what to teach in this reading. I was like, damn spirit, y'all be trying to kill me. Like for real. I'm like, I just want to get up and do this reading. But I'm happy that it's not demons. Like, I mean, everybody fights demons, but that heavy demonic energy is not in the forefront today. And that makes me happy because that should be a lot. And I'm tired of reading about demons. So, oh my God. I'm going to have to pause the video, y'all. Because ain't no lighter with my incense. And you know we got to bless this place. So, pause. All right, we back. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up out my face. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up out my face. And... So, let's get into the lesson before... I get started on this reading because it is definitely about the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. What this person doesn't know. And what we, not just for this person that this reading is talking about, but for everyone in the collective, we need to know about the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about your fortune. Look at this. Shit. Here we go. The will of fortune. Now look at this. Does this look familiar? The, uh, the astrology chart. The astrology chart is your will of fortune. Oh, I see that now. The will of fortune goes up and down. Sometimes you're at the top of the wheel and at other times you're at the bottom of the wheel. This is something that this person doesn't know. And this particular person in the reading, they feel like they are always at the bottom of the wheel. And that's because they have a lot of karma and they need to pay their dues before they can achieve things. They have to pay their dues. Just like you did. In this particular card. The Wheel of Fortune. In this particular depiction. This is out of the. I believe this is. Uh, what the hell. Like the manifestation tar tarot. Or something like that. But look. You see this finger. Important pointing at the center, your astrology chart, your will of fortune. This is the portal that you came through at the time of birth. It is your, your signature portal. And this particular depiction highlights that. In the traditional tarot, let me get the lighting because the Wheel of Fortune, it, um, it has air continuing. You have air, water, fire, and earth. And these also represent the angels. You have the Sphinx and you have Anubis. This Wheel of Fortune, it is the portal that we come through is what we need to master as far as the elements. 
earth, air, water, fire. The mastery of energy. Not only that, but look, you see these books that they hold? This is learning. You are supposed to learn. You are supposed to master. And on the level of intuitive, these books, how you master and each lifetime goes into your Akashic records. It is written. The, the, the Sphinx, you know, many still don't know what the meaning of the Sphinx is. But in the Greek mythos, it says devours travelers who can't answer the riddle. And we often talk to talk about people who are soulless. These are the people over lifetimes, over lifetimes, they could not and did not master their energy. And because they cannot answer the riddle, they are being devoured in this reality. Because they are not learning. Anubis is like um, reincarnation. Over time, life and death cycle, your and, and your records, how and what you have done over lifetimes with the elements of air, water, earth, and fire. What you have done with the truth or lies. Which direction did you choose over and over and over? Did you choose to learn? Or did you choose to descend in your lifetimes? Most of us here have been here before. And we have to pay our dues. What are those dues? Those lessons that we didn't learn. This is a hard game. I don't care if you think you chosen, you think you this, or you think you that. Like you ain't perfect. There is no perfection in this reality. There is only balance. Balance is what you would call perfection. And that is very difficult for some souls. In these letters here, you have the mind. Um, what is this? Mind. Mind, water, salt, and uh, why mind, water, salt, and uh, sulfur. These are the building blocks of reality. And what that means with Mercury being at the top right there as the magician is how you use your mind to use those elements and how you use those elements to create here in this reality on your will of fortune. Everyone should know their chart. Everyone. And with this example, these are your difficulties. These are your challenges. This is here what you need to, to master. And these are your gifts. And those, those gifts and those things that you have mastered. And these can help you on your journey. And they can also help you um, work on these hard aspects in your chart. The person that we're going to talk about today does not realize this they do not realize that they have to pay their dues they don't want to like many of us like why why is this happening why is that happening because it's supposed to the will of fortune is in the major arcana these are the things that we cannot control we cannot control the will of fortune with sheer willpower. What we can do with the will of fortune is learn how to ride the Dow. And I mean the Dow as in like the stock market, the ups and downs of the stock market, the same with the will of fortune. You can understand 
that this is a factor in your life and you can learn how to ride the waves and make it a le little easier for you. If the wheel is down, you can look at your chart and figure out the mindsets and the things that you have to do and the lessons that you have to learn instead of fighting against it. Learn, like go with it. Learn what you're supposed to learn and it will propel you and it will put you up in a better space when the wheel turns up for you. A lot of times when these wheels are at the, the wheel is at the down, down, people spiral farther down. So when the, when it's time for their wheel to come up, they never go up because in fact, they are, their energetic um, position and reality is too low it's too low for them to access the highs in their chart or even the gifts that they have their trines their sextiles this can in fact happen this is where not only consciousness is is at play consciousness is always at play but being conscious and like of reality but really conscious of your choices your will could be down right you don't have money what are you gonna do you can work hard you can i don't care you might have to your will is down you might have to get three jobs you can make that choice to get three jobs which is hard which is tiring that may be a lesson in your chart to learn how to work hard but if your consciousness your level of consciousness are, is off and you use your free will in the wrong way. You could actually choose something like the serpent right here. You could actually choose to go down and you can start stealing from people. Instead of realizing the truth of self and doing what you need to do, like maybe get two jobs, maybe get three jobs. I don't know, but that's an example. So this, you got Mercury and this right here, I think uh, one of these uh, around here is God. And then you have law. How you use your mind, your energy, your choices within the laws of the most high God. Your will is what you have done also in previous lives within the laws of the most high God. And this person is mad at you because there is something about you. You achieve and they don't. But they don't realize they need to pay attention to their own damn life and their own will of fortune. Minding your business is important. This is why they say, do not compare your journeys to others. Because it's individual. Don't be jealous because somebody is rich and successful. Your journey is not theirs. You don't know what you have to do in this lifetime. And you don't know what you had to pay in other lifetimes. You don't know if that person you're comparing yourself to paid their dues in their last lifetime. And this lifetime, they're getting what's old. For doing the work. You don't know. That's why it's important to mind your damn business. And that's what this person needs to do. This reading is going to be long. So we're going to get started. Let me put these cards back where they belong. And let's do it. Oh, shit. So. Now that we got the lesson on the Wheel of Fortune. There is someone in your energy or outside of your energy that you no longer talk to. But you can feel their energy tugging on you. That's in particular for those who are spiritualists and are extremely sensitive to energy. 
And you don't even talk to this person that was told to me, but you can feel them tugging on your energy. The first card out is the Prince of Books. The Prince of Books, dominance, overcoming challenges, challenges and patience. And this particular deck, this is air and earth. This person wants to know how to get themselves stable in the earth realm. How to be in dominance, to be in control of their reality. How to overcome their challenges and how to be patient in doing so. Because they have lost patience with this being the prince this is a sort of mastery they want to be a master at this because they see you being a master at it they are studying you they are wondering how they could be a master at their own life and they are at a loss because they are trying to find their answers in comparison to you. And that is not going to work. They're going to have to look within themselves. What they really need to do, like we all should do, is look at our will of fortune. The portal that they came through this lifetime. This person sees you at the top of the wheel or approaching the top of your, of your wheel and it pisses them off. It makes them mad. They want to stop you. They don't want you to get ahead of them. I clarified that and you got the king of swords. This is an interesting depiction of the king of swords because they depict, depict the queen, the king as the queen. Remember, I told you perfection does not exist, but balance does. You have a balanced mind, a balanced mind in the masculine and feminine energies, and you use this. To weave your life. To thread and sew your life together. This is something this person also wants to know how to do. Look. Two different decks. Look at the thread and the needle. This needle is coming out of their head. They want to know what you know. How you thread your life together. It's like. They are in comparison and a little bit of competition. You moving forward and them not really bothers them for whatever their reasons are. I clarified this uh, King of Swords. I mean, you have a strong mind. You like, like I told you in the Wheel of Fortune with that Mercury. Where did I put that card? With that Mercury here. It's at the top of the wheel. How do you use your mind. These energies. And how they flow. Because your mind is your projector. In which you manifest. And that's why the magician is Mercury. How you use your mind. To alchemize these energies. And to create here. In this physical reality. You are at the king of swords. You've learned how to do this at a mastery. And this person at the Prince of Books wants to learn how to do that too. I clarified the King of Swords and you got wealth and writing. Because they see you increasing. Maybe you got a new promotion. You started a business. Whatever this means to you. They see you doing better financially and looking better. And moving forward. 
This is what they want to do. They want to be at a better financial standing and they want to be able to move swiftly in their life like they see you doing. You might not think that you're moving swiftly, but apparently this person does. This person thinks you're moving so fast they want to stop you. Give me a second, y'all. They see you at the three of pentacles. They see you using with the birds. Here we go again with the birds. Air. They see you using your mind to build your life brick by brick. They see you at the three of cups opening the door to your celebration. To your wins. They see you. Going. Like they see your fortune. Changing. Your wishes. Being granted. They just see you. In pure. Creation mode. The queen of cups. And the king of swords. Using your mind to create what you want in this reality. What you're birthing in this earth realm. They see you doing that. And they really cannot deal with it. And before I move on. There's a heavy energy of guilt in this reading. Because for a big portion of you. This person knows that they should not feel this way about you. That it shouldn't be so hard for them to congratulate you. To be proud of you. To give you words of encouragement. Because this person, this may be your mom. This may be your best friend. This may be your husband, your wife. This is very... Difficult. To for them to see you work on yourself. And be successful at that. This, this reading is going to be long. Well, it's more than a reading. It's a lesson, so... I mean, all the readings are lessons, but this one in particular, spirit, gave me dreams and all kind of shit. What this person doesn't know, why they cannot catch up with you, why they cannot compete with you, why you're doing better and they are not is because they are still under judgment. They have to pay their dues. They are under karma. The will of fortune is your karma. And in this particular reading, excuse me, whoever this is talking about, if this person looked in their chart, it's more than likely they would see in their chart why they are not at the top of the wheel right now. This is something I understand. Just because you're not, I mean, and you could be a, a strong soul. You could be a very strong soul. But you still are, you could be in this lifetime under judgment. Because in another lifetime, you fucked up. You didn't learn your lesson. You wrecked some shit. I mean, you better use that soul power to pay your dues. This is this is not. The will of fortune doesn't like, oh, because you're at the bottom of the wheel, you have a real bad chart that. You are dark or a demonic soul or anything like that. This person that's in here. 
they have a lot to do. But I'm going to tell you personally, I, ha I paid a lot of money for somebody to read my chart. And there's a lot of my chart that is shit, y'all. It is dog shit. Like, for real, I got, I got shit in karmic houses and everything. But the guy who read my chart, they, they, he was reading all his karma and stuff. But he was like, hey, you in here with a lot of protection. And he said, when you get over all this stuff, he called me some type of dessert. It was like this dessert. And he was like, like, you the shit. Like, and that, like, that gave me hope to work through what I needed to work through. But I have karma when it comes to love and all that. Hey, I got my ass kicked this lifetime to the point where I don't even want to come back here no more. But it was my dues. It was my karma. And that's what it is. And this is what this person has to realize. That look at the city in the background. This life for them has a lot of karma that they have to pay. This, if this, particular, this particular person. Hmm, at the Eight of Swords. I won't say this is a demonic soul because. I mean, they're really not. I mean, that's not here. But what Spirit is saying with this Eight of Swords is that this, this person is, in fact, a trapped soul. Their soul is trapped. Their mind wants to move beyond this, but they got to pay. And until they do, until they're able to use their energy and their mind correctly and learn their lessons at the Eight of Swords, they're going to be in this loop of judgment. Look at this. And spirit don't play. Because of the cards that they choose. They chose this particular two. What is this? Um, the two of pentacles. That exchange of the coins. But in this particular. This is an exchange with the universe. Look at this. This is the Ouroboros. The snake eating its own tail. Spirit is very clear that this has to do with their lifetimes, with their reincarnations. This is why they can't grab a hold to the pentacle like they want to. This is clarifying. Look, the judgment. The eight of swords to the this particular two of pentacles. Their soul, it has a lot of judgment. They're not going to be able to use their willpower to get beyond this. There are factors at play that cannot be controlled by sheer will. I mean, you can use your willpower to learn your lessons, to be able to stay and persevere on the down times, but it cannot be used to bypass this. It can't to bypass that's the will cannot be used for that. I clarified this two of pentacles. And you got the ten of wands. Hey, this is this person has compared themselves to you, but they had a lot more to deal with in their chart. Look at this. The body, like the body being trapped. The soul being trapped at Eight of Swords. Hey, this lifetime came with a lot of burdens. This incarnation. Look at this. The Ten of Wands. Getting, holding them back. And the Seven of Wands. Look, and this Seven of Wands. Like the light of their soul is being blocked. Because the judgment is great. They owe a lot. They just owe a lot. They owe a lot before they can get to their nine of cups. Because look at the six of swords. This is the boat moving forward into calmer waters. Look at the swords. The five of swords, mental conflict, 
is stuck in their son, their soul power. Their soul is being extremely weighed down and held back because they are being forced, forced, forced to learn lessons, harsh lessons. This is a soul. I'm not even through the first card that has a, a lot, a lot, a lot of heavy karma. 17 wands. 17 wands. Spirit is saying. 17 wands worth of it. I just heard really loud. loud 17 lifetimes worth of it. So Spirit is tell, telling me. Through like 17 lifetimes. On that wheel of fortune. They were not mastering the energy. And it just kept piling up. Piling up. And piling up. Every time they came into this reality, they just kept doing the same shit. Not growing. Not maturing. Mm, this is some... This is hard. And they don't understand this spiritual reality of theirs. Why they cannot and they should not... I mean, you just shouldn't compare yourself to anybody, but especially them. Why they cannot... And should not compare themselves to you. I just heard really loud. Why they should not compete with you. They're wasting their energy. They have 17 wands. They need to learn about. And they need to master. And they paying attention to your, to your life. When they should be paying attention to their own. They really ain't going to get shit done by doing that. Moving on. Give me a second, y'all. Oh, her teddies is out. Uh, let me cover them up. Look, this person at the Knight of Pentacles, they want to move forward to make money. And with this being. The night. Um, they feel like. Because you know that's slow moving. Look it's slow moving. This particular night. Is barefoot. Like you know you're going to be walking slow. You ain't got no damn shoes on. Walking over rocks. This person feels like. It should be their time. It should be their time. They've. It's been so long, most of their life, they they haven't been able to move forward and achieve much or get money. This person really thinks about money. Money and success. That's And the spirit is being really loud. Money and success that they really haven't worked for. But in their mind, they think that they have. They haven't. They really feel that their, their soul, give me a second, y'all. They really feel that their soul should be able to move forward. Even and with this being the Knight of Pentacles, even just a little bit. They think even just a little bit. But here's the reality. I clarify that. Um, hey, this is not the night. I read it as the night. And that's what it is. Because um, that was the energy. But it's the princess. So that, that correlates too. Because I believe that's the page. At least something. Nah. Because. They see things. Through the eyes of the serpent. They see things through the eyes of the serpent. And they have done that. For many lifetimes. This person is in their. Um, what you call it. 
their, their reptilian mind. You know how we need to be able to control and have mastery over of our mind over the elements. This person has come here and constantly been at the base at the very beginning. And they are using like their survival mode and everything. They do shitty things. They have done shitty things many lifetimes. And caused rain and pain of their view of life through the serpent. Many lifetimes this person has been on some clown shit. That's why spirit has them locked away. They really need to be paying attention to themselves. Because their soul is missing. They don't know themselves. They can't find themselves because of this. Looking at reality through the eyes and the mind of the serpent and doing clown shit. This person has really depleted a lot of their soul energy because of this. They need to be able to see other people and kindness and equality and love. But they don't. They see people as prey, as food. Like they haven't been, they haven't come to earth and learn about relationships and the importance of treating people well and, and exchanging love and all that. This person, they have done some fuck shit for money. And that's why they can't have it. Because they've been doing that for a lifetime. This is what they've been focused on. The spectacles of evil instead of the spectacles of love. But anyway, they don't know this. And they want to fly high. They want to move forward. But nah. Homeboy, homegirl, what they really need to do is heal. They need the vaccine. They're infected or something. And more so like, I'm not even on a demonic level. They're infected with spiritual stupidity or some shit. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Give me a second, y'all. At the Two of Swords, they can't think of, see, with that mind. Their mind, it can't, they can't focus on themselves and what they need to do to create strong foundations in this reality. The difference between you you're able to use your mind to build. They, it's hard for them to use their mind to even make the right decisions. And they're wondering why. Like this person is wondering why. And Spirit is going deep into this, especially because you might be in a relationship. This person might be close to you. And you really, in quiet times alone, you really wonder why they don't support you. Or you can just feel when it's time to congratulate you. You can feel how hard it is for them. This They're explaining to you why. This person can't make these decisions. Because they have not even begun. Like they're barely. They're very new. At shining a light on their shadow. And becoming enlightened. Like. Knowing about self, learning about self, and choosing at the two of swords to do higher vibing things. That's why, look, hello again, they have been recycled in this, this uh, reincarnation cycle over and over and over again to learn these lessons. And they have not done that. They have not made the right choices in their lifetimes in order to learn their lessons. And they just come again and again and again doing the same shit.
Give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, the will of fortune. Your will of fortune, you have worked, whether you did it intentionally or it wasn't intentional, you have worked on your will of fortune and your soul is connected to the work and what you have done. That's why you are at the top of the will because in on this timeline, you have done the work. Your soul is free to do the work that it's supposed to do because you have paid your dues. And you have, with your mind, you have mastered earth, air, water, and fire of this particular lifetime. And you have become the empress. And you have become the empress and you can manifest in this realm. You have balanced, look, you have balanced your serpent brain, your reptilian brain. You have come into, look, balance in this game of chess. This person, you have learned how to master your mind. Look at their king of swords. Look, don't play with me. Look at your king of swords and look at theirs. This person has not used their mind to master and to keep their demons at bay. You have the difference of you guys' mind. They haven't Learned how to give the proper give and take in this reality. They breadcrumb people. They don't care. This is something that they have done for lifetimes. And they wonder why shit doesn't happen for them. Because our spirit, spirit just said they're stingy. They're selfish. They come lifetime after lifetime being a selfish ass person. Only thinking of themselves. And because they're in, in their energy. They use and breadcrumb others around them. Giving them very little. While they take a lot. This person. And also this is giving me a dual meaning. Because they are like this. This is why they are bre being breadcrumbed. In this reality. Only getting a little. Because what you give. And what you give is what you get. This person really needs to look at their will of fortune. They really do. This person sees you in this emperor status triumphant. You are at the empress, the six of wands, triumphant. You are at the top of your will. And this person is at the king and at the six of pentacles. This particular six of pentacles, life is breadcrumbing them. Now, this is where that other compartment hit for those who work in spirituality with this seven of wands. This person wants, like, not to be held back. At the two of wands, clarifying that, at the two of wands, they want to move forward in their life. And instead of doing the work, they wishing and they're doing, they're doing uh, magic to try to bypass the work that they have to do. And that's, and I just heard really loud, that's not going to work for them. It's not going to work at all. Because it's like, they're comparing like, oh, this person reads cards or, oh, this person does that. That looks simple enough. 
I can, I read cards too, or I do this too, and I can make some money. And it's like, see, like, yeah, you're supposed to get an exchange for doing this work, but if you don't get nothing, you don't get nothing. Sometimes spirit calls for you to do the work. Like, I have people cross my path, and ain't no money. When spirit tell me to give them a message, that's what it is. I give them a message, because that's what I'm supposed to do. If I don't, I don't be like, oh, spirit told me to tell you this $10. It's all good. On another round of doing something else, spirit is going to pay me for that. You best believe. And this person is only thinking about money, not, not the core of why you become a spiritualist or a reader. For those who is in the compartment of spirituality, you might have a platform or something like this. And this person, look, at the seven of wands and at the nine of wands, they are super blocked and they don't want to be blocked. Look, this wrist carpal tunnel, they've been trying at it and trying at it and they're not being, they're, they haven't been able to move forward. Because with these mountains, they need to overcome. They need to do the work. They need to climb the mountain and get over obstacles. But they want it to come easy. They want to shoot their arrow and hit. But there's something about like the moon is concealing. Like they can't move forward and you are and they so jealous they so jealous of your platform they so jealous they see you have a community celebrating getting abundance from it and they don't they want that too but they're under judgment they don't get it and they got a lot of judgment Look at these fingers. They're pointing at them for many lifetimes. And you got all this shadow work to do. You think you're going to be put in a position to help other people get out of their, out of their the trials and tribulations of life, of their spirit, of their soul, and you haven't done it? You don't understand it in the slightest? You are a fake fucking spiritualist. And that's all you're going to be. Because a real spiritualist, a real reader has done the work. They have got hit. They have got beat the fuck up. And they have got up. So they can do this. Look, this person. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Even if they were to make some money from this, it's going to be very little. And it's going to be limited. For a limited time. Because they not initiated into this shit. They fake. Something this person needs to understand and that we need to all understand as a collective. Is that. We have our own portal that we come through, that we work through. We have our own individual journey when it comes to getting to our soul's desires. Clarifying this card, going through the portal, I got the first house. Who you are. Pisces. The spiritual. And Jupiter. Your luck. I can't make this shit up. I was pulling it like what? Okay. So with the first house. And I'm going to read them across. Who you are. Spirituality to ultimately experience. The granting of your desires. Trust your psychic knowledge of 
blessings from your actions, resulting from the indecision of or about good fortune. So who you are and who you are as a soul determines spirit, spirituality to ultimately experience your experience in your lifetime. And the experience in your lifetime, whether you pass this, you learn this from your experiences here, that determines whether your, your desires are granted. Trusting your psychic knowledge. It is very important for everyone to be in tune with their intuition, their spirit, their soul. With this being Pisces, being able to go into the dark and come back into the light and constantly keep in balance your, uh, like your soul in balance with the light and the dark. And when you can do that, and it allows you being in balance, it allows you to get blessings from your actions because you are in balance as a soul. You are more inclined to make the better choice. Resulting from indecision of or about. If you are like indecisive about what to do, you stay stagnant or you make the wrong decisions, it really determines your luck here, your good fortune. And people be like, I, it seems like I always make the right choice. I, like, yes, that's your test. The constantly when you down, make the right choice, make the right choice, make the right choice, no matter how bad it is, that's how you pay your dues. And you that's when your good fortune comes in. Everybody, everybody needs to look at their will of fortune. Everybody. These are houses and energies of the will of fortune. The portal that you come through. That you came through. Hey, this is going to be a long ass reading because of the lesson in the beginning. So... This is really for those who want to know about the relationship around them and who really want to just do the real work, the real learning and not just use tarot for like knowing the karma of somebody else or some shit. Mm. This person, your ascension is really bothering this person they spend way too much time looking at your seeds and look with this garlic you're protected and you should protect yourself from telling this person about what you're planning and what you're doing because they're evil eye in it whether it's intentional or not and i'm getting a big sense that for a lot of you this is not intentional for some it is Especially for those that is doing this magic. I mean, you know how that go. I clarified this card. And this man, this person is looking hard. They looking at you all the time. It's bothering me. Like they just can't figure it out. Looking at you like, why you got so many seeds to plant? And some, some of these people that are intentional... They just, because they really, they can't deal with it. They want to destroy it. They want to slow you down. And you're protecting yourself from that. What this person don't know is the strength. You are a strong soul. And you are able to pay your dues and do the work in your reincarnations. Especially this one. But this person don't give a fuck about that. They don't know. They want to hold your will of fortune in place. They want to wrap it up. They want to wrap it up because they see you in your happiness and they are unhappy. All they can do instead of reflecting on themselves, they are reflecting on your ascension. And, and, and the only part of their ascension that they're thinking about is like why they are not ascending like you. 
And that makes them want to trap what you work for. Want, that's what makes them want to stop your eight of pentacles. Because they don't know how to do it at the moon. They don't know how to do it. And they're comparing their stability to yours. Man, it, it bothers them so bad. They just, they want it to stop. They want to attack it. It, like, your progress just makes them feel so bad. And if you're not in the, their energy, like, if you wasn't progressing, they wouldn't feel so bad about themselves. It, it Your progression makes them need to look at why they are not ascending. And they really don't want to do that. And so they want to go the other way, not look at the hermit, not look at what they need to reflect on and just start attacking you and blame you for how they feel. They want to blame you for how they feel. They can't. They, I mean, I feel ashamed. They know they're not supposed to feel like this. They want to walk away from this, but they can't. They just feel like they want to betray you. They feel like this. That's why when it's time to congratulate you, that shit looks so hard. And they might not, they might avoid even say, oh, that's cool. And, and when they tell you, like, it might be something really, really great. Like, hey, you did that. Like, it deserves something like that, like something genuine. And they'd be like, oh, that's cool. And you're like, that's cool. Okay. And you felt the energy of that. You know what I mean? This is that. This is that, bruh. This is that. Man. You growing things. And eating your harvest. Oh, it bugs the fuck out of them. And they just watching mad. Um... So this particular card, Spirit told me to look up the meaning of the penguin. Because like I just said, they want to attack. They want to attack. And like, nobody see a little attacking penguin. Have you ever, ever heard of penguins attacking? The fuck is this? So... The spiritual meaning for a penguin encourages us. This is what this person's supposed to do. And they know it. They know it. Penguin encourages us to support others in times of need. Foster the sense of unity and belonging and find strength in our collective effort. This person should be happy. That you're winning. And take really truly take that as inspiration. And they kind of do. But they can't take it. In pure inspiration. Because of. The jealousy that. It brings up in them. The penguin represents. Faith. Fidelity. Devotion. Dreams. Adaptability. Closeness. Family. And spirituality. This person that we are talking about today, like this is family, this is a um a lover, this is a husband, this is a wife, this is a best friend. They're supposed to be loyal, they're supposed to be supportive. They know that they are the title that they have, they are supposed to be able to encourage you and congratulate you. But that is too difficult. Your ten of cups, your stability, the things you're able to obtain really, really, really bothers them. And this person might even start acting funny or like mean out of nowhere for no reason. It's because like your light irritates their demons. 
the the success that your light brings irritates their demons. This person needs to stop focusing on your shit. Stop playing, focusing on your ten of cups and focus on their mind. This is the lovers, Mercury, their mind, their soul. Y'all know every time I pick this card, this card to me is a fake bitch. And this person is supposed to be loyal. They're supposed to be your best friend and they really over there hating on you. That's fake shit. That's fake bitch shit. Period, bruh. Period. And this person looking at your ten of cups. Acting like, oh, look, I can barely smile at your ten of cups. They're like, oh, yeah, oh, that's got, uh-huh. Barely able to make a smile because they're so goddamn jealous. they looking at you and say, uh-huh, yeah, great, your ten of cups, uh-huh. But they're thinking like, why I don't, why this bitch always, I'm better than her. Why I should have more. <laughs> like, yeah, this is this person is supposed to love you and be in balance with you. And they are just, mmm, mmm. I clarified that, lovers. And I got self-esteem, humor, and worry. Instead, like, I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This person worrying about your ten of cups and you getting stuff, but it, for them, because they're not in the right space, it lowers their self-esteem. That you're able to use your gifts and your soul power to benefit yourself and others. It, it, in a way, it inspires them, but then in another way, I mean, it's not pure inspiration. It just is kind of like inspires them to compete with you, not inspire them to be greater. And better. And to look within self. On how they could do better. In. Their world. Of who they are. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. It just makes them more angry. They, they can't be happy. It's hard for them. To. To look at the lighter side of their life. And it puts them in a state of worry. I am learning that worry does not change an outcome. Like your ascension makes them very worried. And like here goes the three of coins again. Give me a second y'all. Where's the damn card? Give me a second. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Look. The three of, pentacles, three of pentacles again. It's just, you know, they just see you being in control, being the... Uh, Just being a soldier, being a warrior in your own life and making shit happen, building things. This person, it just makes them sad. Them looking at you and watching you like get your flowers. You get your rewards, your medals. It just bleh, sad ass. The sin of greed. Now, in this particular reading today, I'm not getting that demonic, greedy energy that I usually get when I pull this sin of greed card. Sin of greed. Money, business, career, desire for riches. It's just giving me that. That explanation. That this person 
They want to be a business owner. They want to be um, stable in their money, in their career, and they desire this. I'm not getting that demonic energy of like literally taking it from somebody else. This is what they want. They want success. Maybe in other lifetimes, that's why they have so much karma because they have been greedy in regards to money. But for this, they just, they, they want to achieve this in their life. The gardener. Love your garden and it will love you back. I mean, they want this. And you're the one actually getting it. I clarified this. And it's like, but they're not. Because they are under judgment. And the use of this particular judgment card. Like that person that's doing magic. Because they are fake ass spiritualists and they are hater ass bitch. Like. This is what this person needs to know. They cannot do the same shit and their magic isn't working to open their doors because they are under judgment. Their soul is under judgment and they have to pay their dues. This is why everything they try and they start goes to shit. And like you're at a point in your life where things are not going to shit. They're actually growing. It's because who you are as a soul and what's in your chart. You have did the work. You've cleared out your garden. I mean, because doing gardening is hard work. To all my gardeners out there. Especially when you're planting fruits and vegetables. Tell me I'm a lie. Tell me I'm a lie. This takes a lot of work and upkeep. This is something this person does not realize. They got to do the work. Ain't no magic. Ain't no damn candles going to open that for them. Ain't no. And them being pissed off and mad at you. That ain't going for the, to, the other people. That ain't going to work either. This person knows that they are supposed to be your ally. They know, but they cannot be an ally to you because their garden look like this with a bunch of them uh, Venus fly traps. You can't eat that. The inside, you just want to devour stuff. You got, you, you feeling kind of mean inside all the time and treating people accordingly and you doing this watering your garden supplying stuff for yourself and others clarifying this ally is the chariot the knight of wands and the king of cups it is very, this person knows that they should be in balance with you and move forward. Like, let it, they know that it's supposed to be okay for you to be where you're at. And it's they're supposed to be okay with, with where they are. But they want, but they just can't balance that chariot of moving forward in a relationship with you and balance their emotions get the best of them because they see you moving fast and they want to move fast too like they really they really have to work hard at calming themselves at times and being nice because spirit said they're jealous and they don't want to be. They're jealous and they know they're not supposed to be.
this person really needs to look at the darkness within themselves. Beast, transform the ugly into beautiful. They need to learn how to use their mind in order to master earth, air, water, and fire and become an alchemist. And turn those energy into something beautiful and grow beautiful things here. But this person, I mean, they done some fuck shit. I mean, like, they need to look at their chart. Because they are paralyzed. And incapacitated. They don't know what to do. They're like, mm -hmm. wondering why they can't move. It's because you got a big ass shadow side. Like. You can't fake transformation, especially for that, that fake spiritualist. You cannot fake transformation and try to reflect beauty out to the world like that shit. So, with this next card, Spirit shows us the comparison. So, in this deck, the Baron of Coins, it explains in the book in this deck that the Barons are the lowest octave. So, on the... So, on the... Energetic um, stream where light is on one end and darkness is on the other. And you're supposed to bring that and balance the light and the dark. This person is on the lower octave on the dark side when it comes to money. That's their energy. That's what they've done in previous life. Very, very low vibrational when it comes to money. Lowest octave. Lowest vibration. The lowest vibration. Baron of coins. Wasting money. Lost of money. Sham charity. So for those that are fake spiritualists. This person has done that in a previous life. Being a sham charity and shit. For money. And they not learning their lessons. And they trying to do it again. This person got so much to pay in terms of money. The lowest octave? Yeah, they big mad. And this is you. Paying your dues and you're at the ace. The difference. Them. This person, they really want to look forward to their future. But look at the hangman. They are being flayed right now in their life. They are stuck, hanging upside down, being forced to have a different perspective. Being able, I mean, being forced to feel what they have put out in other lifetimes. They are in a space of justice. And this is a hard justice. This is a hard justice because he didn't even want to sit. I mean, he did not want to sit on this iron throne and doing a work to balance the darkness of what was going on. And this what this this is what this person has to do. They have to sit on the throne. And balance darkness. And balance out balance out before they get anything. This, he got the business, bruh. Like they did him all bad. They did it did him all bad. And this is what this person feels like in this lifetimes because they have to balance the scales. They have to pay justice. Mm. And here you go. 
and your Ace of Cups being rewarded because the Empress, again, you have mastered the energy. You got your protection. You got a following, especially for those who do magic. You got rank. You're free to make money. And this person is not. It's a spiritual thing. And they can't understand it. But spirit wants you to know why a person that you love or loved cannot be happy for you. Look at this again. At the Prince of Swords. Look at the, the thread. With the button. The Prince of Swords. And this is mastery. The princess in this deck is mastery of mind. Victory against overwhelming odds. Braveness. Experience. This person. They really want victory. They really want to know. How to get past this. To get to a different experience. But they are blinded. They don't know how to flow. They don't know how to put oil in their engine. They don't even have a needle to sew. Look at this. When you switch places with someone else. Who is it and what do they experience in their dream? For some of you, because it's a collective, some of these people, like especially if this is a friend or something, I mean, cause this could be anybody. Your own mama could want to be you. But this person wants to know what it feels like to be you. What it feels like to be you. What it feels like to rise up. What it feels like to enjoy life. No matter what, how you feel in life, this person from the outside looking in, they feel like you are just extremely happy. That life is extremely fun for you. And this don't even have to be all extra out. Because I have been way down and had a little bit of money and then get to the point where my money is just nothing extravagant. Just stable. And this is fucking just grand. This is just great for me. Just being not rich. But stable. On the weekends if I want to go treat myself to a good dinner. I love that. If I want to take a three hour drive. I don't have to worry about like I'm on a real budget. Gas is high. I don't have to worry about that. I can fill my tank up. And go for a long drive. And go for a little, you know what I'm saying, weekend trip, a day trip. It don't have to be extravagant. From getting, from being super impoverished to just being stable and be able just to enjoy the simple things in life. This is happiness. And if this is something that you can do, this person see you doing and they cannot. Or it's very difficult or even if they can, it's not as easy for them as it is for you. A forgotten memory resurfaces. What is it? Look at this. This person, the work that they need to do is they need to do a lot of inner child healing. They need to go back in time and heal some stuff from their childhood in order for them to transform. They need to deal with emotions of shame. They might have grown up in a family that has money problems. They have come into a bloodline that matches up with their soul lessons when it comes to money. And there's shame. There's shame when it comes to achievement and money. Maybe their parents didn't achieve much. 
Maybe they saw their parents always struggling. There's something in their childhood that they need to heal before they can transform. The old oil lamp is functional. So spirit wanted me to look up the spiritual meaning of an oil lamp. And what did I get? Let me see. Oil lamp. Light of faith and truth. Prosperity. Connection with spirituality. Represent, representation of Christ followers. This person definitely needs to work on their soul. They need to step in the in the light with faith and truth instead of making the wrong choices for prosperity. In order for their light to be shown on the pathway in their life for the pathway to open and for a light to be shown on their pathway, they got to reconnect to faith and truth and connection, connect their soul back to spirituality. They have the representation of Christ followers. They have to really work on raising their vibration. And then after that, you got the triangle, the, the Holy Trinity. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the, the um, spiritual meaning of the triangle is power, progression, purpose, and direction. And it can also symbolize mind, body, spirit, and creative spirit. They need to come into balance with their spirit, their soul, connection to God in order for them to be able to control their mind, their body, which is their actions, what they do here. And, and that, what they do here, they control their mind and what they do here. And then to spirit, it will raise their vibration, mind, body, spirit. And then... It attached to their creative spirit. What they can create here. And they could be empowered. They can progress on their purpose and direction. Hmm. This is something this person doesn't realize. And then once they get that, they can rise like the phoenix. A phoenix gives you a feather, what does it do? Look, the will of fortune. Then they can rise like the phoenix. Scorpio. What is Scorpio? Scorpio is sex, death, rebirth, transformation, going into the darkness and transforming from that. This person... Ain't going to be able to get shit without the work. Don't need that paper no more. In the center of the reading, the Knight of Swords. Companionship, victory, perseverance. Man, this person, the Knight of Swords, this person knows companionship, that they should be a better companion to you. And they know why they cannot. And they know why they were not. For those who are no longer in communication with this person, they know. They know, but they could not stand your victory. And the way you persevere. Because... They want to be able to do that too. Look at this dude in the cauldron. They want to, especially that with this magic, they want to be able to magically transform themselves like you did. They want 
to know what to do and to move forward quickly on that. Like you did. Companionship, they really, they're really comparing. Because all they can do, they cannot focus on themselves. They are hating in the background. Hater! Excuse me. They are hating in the background watching you work on your passion. For the third time, you being the empress. You, they are just, ugh. I mean, I want to just, ugh. Like that type of frustration. Them looking at you do your thing. You and the empress. And they still at the point where they don't know what they should do in order to get themselves to the empress status. They don't have dominion. They don't have power over their own life. They're still figuring out which way to go. And they want to do this fast. Because to them, you're doing it fast. They're not looking at the work that you had to do. They see you progressing. Some of you may have a business. You may have gotten a better job. You may have gotten a, a raise. Whatever regional products means to you. As far as. Um, in the context of. Making money business career. They see you doing this. Palace nurse. Making medicine. They see you healing. Look at this Hayden ass bitch watching. Watching, trying to figure out how you heal and what you do. You minding your own business. You minding your own business. This person, if they mind their own business, they can figure out how to fix their own shit. For real. They just can't get out of this this energy of comparing themselves to you. Like, maybe this person, they feel like, especially in a relationship and stuff like that, any relationship, well, I would say, and lovers and stuff like that, and friends, like, they see you as their equal, but because you're being successful, you're no longer equal, and it bothers them. Chief Court Lady. This person has a lot of shame because they, they know they shouldn't be feeling like this. This person feels a lot of shame for their jealousy and their anger and their inability to move forward in their own life. There's a lot of shame energy in this. Clarifying the chief court lady, I got peace. Doubt and freedom. Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. They know. They feel shame for feeling negative, negatively towards you. They feel ashamed. Doubt. I release the, the need to know all the answers. They doubt themselves because they don't know what they need to do. To do like what they need to do in their own life in order to be like you. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This person feels so ashamed that they haven't been able to free themselves by now. Not only that, but they feel like they have used their power and their free will to create something and it's not working for them. And they, they beat themselves up inside. They feel ashamed. Mm. 
and they are big ass creep though on low key. They really be paying way too much attention to you, spying on you. This is like the third card of them spying on you, watching you like a creep. Like us obsessed with is going on in your life. It's almost like this person is so obsessed with your life because they feel like if they could figure it out, they'll be able to do they be able to do it too. And they're, that means that they're focusing on outside of themselves when it's really something inside. It's really on a soul level. And this person need to pick up their damn chart. And they also, in this lifetime, in order for them to do that, again, for the second time, a different deck, they need to go, it's attached their first beginning lessons were in their childhood trauma. Like, they, whatever they saw when it comes to money or whatever the fuck this is, only they know. They need to go back and do some childhood work. Because whatever they have done in their past lifetimes and whatever happened to them in their childhood has them cold inside. They are cold. It has created a disaster in their soul. And they, they, they have to pay their dues. Law enforcement. They have to. So they can spy all they want. They can't copy and paste your will of fortune. This particular card really set aside and compartmentalize the fake spiritualist. Spirit that, I mean, it may be a couple of readers that watch my channel. I know I've talked to a couple. Hey, y'all. But there's a specific message for you guys. At the Prince of Vessels, this is religious or spiritual figure, clarity, I mean, charity and kindness. Like this person see you doing your thing, helping people, and people care about you. They support you and they give you money. And you make money. And this person... Wants to do the same thing. Or they're trying to do the same thing. And they are so pissed. Look. Look at the mean ass alien boo. Look at them. So pissed because they want their shit to take off. But it is like a bob wire. It is being held down. They can't get it off the ground. They can't get it off the ground. Because they did not do the work. And you see, the princess in this deck is mastery. They haven't done the work to be a religious or spiritual figure to receive charity and kindness from others. They, they have not done the work. So this fake spiritual shit that they're doing is not getting off the ground. Because they got to work on that dirtiness in their soul. Angry, like, why am I not going? Why, why am I not going? Like, like, if you are, if you in that stage, you know you ain't supposed to be doing nothing spiritual. This person is gonna have to get over their feelings about what's happening for you, and that again with the mountains, they're gonna have to climb the mountain. Get over the obstacles and do the work. They fake spiritualist ass. They a roach in the inside. And they want to put flowers and glasses on them like they don't need to be sprayed. A fucking roach trying to give spiritual advice. 
look, bro. They need look. They need some raid. That's what they need. And they know it. And they trying to like put perfume on. They part of trying to put a costume on to make them look like, oh, I'm all love and light. Don't shoot me down. Don't spray me with raid. I'm a real one. I'm ordained. I'm initiated, bitch. No, you not. You are a critter. You are a roach. Clarifying the roach. I got dissident. Dissident means to go against like the law. This person doesn't want to do it the right way. Dissident. All the gates of all the castles cannot keep out justice. They could pretend to be spiritual. They could put flowers in the roach can, in the roach spray. But there's nothing they could do that's going to keep them from paying what is owed. But they want to sideshow tent. They want to take their evil ass. And they want to start a spiritual business like you. They want to start a channel like you. Like, I'm open for business, bitch. Really? You look dead, though. Why would I take spiritual advice from you? Martyr. The hangman again. Don't cry. There's a kind of grace in this. This person needs to surrender. They need to surrender to this hangman energy and look at life from a different perspective. And even though it feels like they're being sacrificed, there is a grace in this if they learn their lessons. They can truly become spiritually enlightened if they could do this. Spirit. Ooh. Spirit just said. But they're not. For somebody in particular. They not. They kind of evil. But anyways. Moving on. This person. Look. You got watermelon in your basket. You got bread. And you got wine. And you got a double basket. Like you've harvested and you've made products and a picnic with what you have planted. This person is just at the grapes. They don't even know how to make wine. You know, they're trying to attach to your energy so they could see what they could do with their contents of their basket. Because they don't know what to do. They are blinded to their portal. Their will of fortune. And they just. They're. Just trying to move forward quickly. Without looking inside themselves. Because they just. Think about. I just want to be happy like them. Like. Like. This is the only way. Like them being equal. To you. And this way is really important to them. It's like they feel like they can't sit next to you or like they don't want you to sit next to them if they're not in the Ten of Cups too. They want to know. They want to know. Look at this. This reincarnation, this infinity symbol, it got thorns on it. And it looked like their tears are blood. For this person that's doing magic, they are so fucking pissed that they cannot manifest what they want and bypass the work through magic. And the person that it doesn't have to do with magic, this person is just mad they cannot manifest like you. 
it's just so much harder for them. All they do is every time they try to create, they get stuck with thorns. But this is what they have. This is what they have attracted to themselves karmically. Thorns. And it makes them sad. It makes them sad that they don't have what you have. And they thirsty for something. They can't find happiness anywhere. Especially not comparing themselves to you. <clears throat> the sin of pride Again, I'm not feeling Heavy demonic energy, thank God But The sin of pride Appearance Vanity Physical well-being This person, they're on the shallow side of things. They want money to uh, keep up with the Joneses, to appear like they are upstanding. And to attract and magnetize uh, appearance that they could be proud of They just really need to look inside Instead of just Thinking about How to move as fast Or past you I mean With this sin of pride And the knight of swords This person just thinks of Like instead of doing the work Just think of how can I make myself Look better How can I make myself look better how can I make myself look better? How can I appear better to other people? This is a shallow way of thinking. Their perspective on life and the way they think and the things that they believe is like, that's why they sad. Because they're not, with this being a five of cups, they are not. They are not working on their soul. They are not working on their spirit. That's why they're not able to grow much. Look at the barren land around them. And whatever does grow ain't shit on that. Ain't nothing to eat. What the hell is that? And that's how they think. What the hell is this? This person. Mm, they are stuck in materialism. With this. The sin of pride. The knight of swords. And the, this particular five of cups. Even though there's no. I don't have coins here. Or anything like that. You know, that keeping up with the Joneses, what you have, the sin of pride. And then the depiction on this five of cups and this barren land. And then this whatever the fuck this is. When, like, I'd be sad too. But this person at the two of cups, they need to balance their light and their darkness in order to heal their sadness. I clarify this and got the four of swords. And this is stable companion running scared and fear. Like this is the two of cups. This is your relationship. There is one person that's a stable companion. And the other person is fearful. And scared inside. This is not a good match. 
at the five of wands, slay dark creatures, you have done the work, overcome the competition of this realm, and you have slayed your demons. This person has not at the nine of swords. Their demons ruled them. Their demons are attacking them. Everybody has demons, but with your mind and your alchemy, you keep them under control. You keep them at bay. You use their, their energy and balance with your light. This person don't think about none of that shit. They are at the night of wands, moving fast, not knowing where they're going. They want to move fast and they want to bypass the fight. They want to compete with you, but they don't know that this is a competition with themselves. With themselves in their own darkness, their own demons. They can't worry about you. They are at the nine of swords with their demons. They need to get to work. At the Hierophant. This person want to know this and that. All of this. How you doing things and all this. They need to look at their will of fortune. But. They just want to know. They want the wisdom that you have. They want, they want the spiritual title that you have. But here goes the comparison again. They are of the shadows, gang, and you are a captain of your own life. You are in control over your own life. See, gang, brotherhood of the shadows, underworld, transactions, violence, criminality. They got to pay for this. They got to pay for this in other lifetimes and this one. Because the spirit just said because they haven't learned. Captain. Navigator of destiny. They are so fucking jealous that you can navigate your own destiny. And that you are achieving. And people look at you like this. As a leader. Voyage. Leadership. Decision making. Objective. Like. And that says that, like, this person is looking at you so deeply on how you make decisions and want to make the same. Because they, they, in their mind, they're like, if I make the same choices that this person made, I'll get the same results. Nah, bitch. You got to go deeper into the shadows and do that work. Under gang is influencer. This person, especially this person that... that that is looking at this reader or the spiritualist, they want to be an internet influencer or have a channel just like this person. That's on some loser shit for real. But because see, they're not really, they're not really doing it from the core reason of helping others. Like, yeah, we all want numbers. We want money and all that. But in the core, if we don't get shit, like, honestly, I'm telling you on my soul, if I don't, if I only get one view and that person say, you've helped me so much, I've done my job. Like, this is what it is. Like, that's the core. Because that one view was my, like, you could have saved a soul with that video that got that one view. And that probably, that could have been the reason of the video. God wanted you to get to this one person. For the real spiritualists that's out here doing that, we know that's why. That's why, look, and this person want to be a trendsetter. They want to be like, oh, I 
like that. I'm a content creator. They want people to follow them. And they just want to be like they want. They want clout. If you want clout, you can do a fucking mukbang or something like that. Eat a whole big bucket of 10 pounds of noodles or something. If you want clout, you do not get clout from being a spiritualist. Like, you can get caught from being a spiritualist, but out of all the things you're going to choose, do not choose that to get clout. This person is shameful, like, doing that shit, bruh. Under Captain, you got Barbara. Barbara, artist of tresses, trimming, beautification, adornment, and fashion. You're a captain, a leader. People follow you because you have done the work. Period. Period. You've worked on yourself. You've groomed the inside of yourself. And that's why it shows on the outside. Knight, you're a warrior. Keeper of honor. You are honor honorable. Armor. You are protected. Battle. You have like you have fought your demons. You out here of like a real protected warrior. Because you have been loyal to the most high God. You have been loyal to the laws and the rules of this game. You have been loyal to self in the best of ways. Honorable. This makes you honorable. And because you have done this singer, you have a high vibration. You have a high octave. Singer, resonance, moving hearts, harmony, emotion, performance. Your vib vib vibration is high enough to magnetize people, abundance, to be an influencer. This person is of a low vibration, of a low resonance, and this is what they need to look at. They haven't fought the battles to raise their vibration. And this person is spying on you, trying to figure out how you do it, when they need to be figuring out how they're going to do it. That is literally, that is like the third time that I've gotten spy. Somebody is being watched. Like, like on creep status, this person is, they can't do shit because they looking at your shit. They looking at your numbers. They looking at your posts. They looking at your life. They looking at your Facebook after the money, like you doing better for yourself. Looking at your new car and what you doing this weekend. Spy, seeker of secrets, intelligence agent, covert, espionage, undercover. And especially for those that are really competing with you. They. They just want to, they're spying on this secret competition to be better than you. They just want to know how you do it so they can do it better than you. This is not for everybody, but for a few people in here, you got somebody obsessed with you and your abundance. And they are in secret competition because they are a loser. And they, for real, I mean that. Like, this, like, spirit shows me this game as, I mean, this reality as a game and also a school. And they are losing. They fell in a test. They losing a game. This is the Hunger Games. If you don't get up and fucking fight. Instead of looking at somebody else's life. Look. Mm, mm, mm. This is crazy. Lower octave. Their mind, how they think, 
and how they look at things, the Baron is the lowest of vibrations in this deck. It literally says that. Their mind, how they think, is of an extreme low vibration. And that is what injures them. They like to blame others on why their life is the way it is. And it's purely them and the way they think and the way they use their mind. The way that they use their mercury, their mind on the wheel of fortune. Baron of Swords. Defeat, cowardliness, and injury. They fucked their own shit up. The reason why they strike out in life is just because of them and their low vibration. And look, I don't watch horror films, but Forbidden, I believe this is Candyman. Mm. This person... They don't think rationally. They think that, like, you shouldn't be able to move forward without them moving forward. They That's why they need to do childhood healing, because they think very immaturely. They think you should be forbidden to move forward. Ooh, some, uh, for somebody, they said you should be forbidden to live. And that is probably for the person that does magic or something. Or maybe not. But these are their, their inner thoughts. They might not have said this. But this is how they think. This is the lowest vibration. The Baron. They, the revolution, they want to start a war with you. But they are conscious on some level. They want to start a war with you, but they know that's crazy. They know that's odd. And even if they went ahead and started a spiritual war or whatever, or just they do war with you, deep down they know that that's crazy as fuck. This person, News and Paradise, this person really, really, at Forbidden, this person really cannot stand to hear your good news. They can't. They can't stand it. They can't stand to hear your good news. But they're curious about it. They want to know about it. Like, for these people that you no longer talk to, they actually want to come back into your energy and find out. Man, I feel, I mean, I don't feel bad, but I kind of feel bad. Like, this energy is like, you know, all over the place, but this person is a sad soul. This person gets in their feelings about your happiness, and they know that's ridiculous. They know it's stupid as fuck. Like, being happy, being in their feelings about somebody's emotions is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a very low vibration. Very low. It's a disease in the mind. Man, this person needs to mind their own fucking business and get to work. They are a lazy spirit. They can't, because they're always looking outside of themselves. They can't see how lazy they are. I mean, they just can't see it. Because with that sin of pride, they, they kind of like are in a delusion about themselves. Like, they tell themselves, like, I'm just as good as so-and-so and blah, blah, blah. And that may be true. You might be just as good, but did you do the work? Like, you could probably be as good, but, I mean, there's an ingredient missing. And that's the shadow work, bro. Like, this person just wants the sweetness of life. And they feel like you shouldn't have it if they don't have it. Look, bruh, for somebody, this person is crazy as fuck. And they are spying on you. They might even be driving past your house. 
And that was what, like number four? Spy? Like, so that's for somebody. Again, for the second time, for somebody in particular, this person might be so low in their energetic. We got two cards out here that said that this person is on the lowest vibrational octave. And for somebody, this person really want to be you, face. They like want to be just like you. They are a copycat. And for those that resonate with this copycat energy, that's that's a no. Like people be like, oh, if copy people copy you, that's you should look no, you should uh what you say? You should um you that should make you mad, like you should be appreciative or whatever they say. No. Being an inspiration to somebody. Is something that you should like. Like yeah I inspired you. I'm, I'm glad. So inspiration is. They see how you do things. They take that energetically. And they transform that. They they um, alchemize that. Into who they are. That's inspiration. But a copycat. Somebody that copies you. That tugs on your energy. Hard. When I tell you. A copycat tugs on your energy hard. You can feel it. It's vampiric. Like it drains you. It's vampiric. So people don't let people tell you like, hey, you should be happy that person copies you. It's a compliment, bitch. No, it's not. Copying somebody is not a good thing. Because what this person is trying to do is step into your energy and be you. And in order for them to do that, they have to take and embody your energy. And the amount of focus that it takes to copy, it's going to drain you. Mm. And whoever this copycat is for somebody that the copycat energy, because it's comp compartmentalized to different stories. You, you might know this person crazy as hell. You might have felt this person really tugging on your energy when they was in your energy. And they want to be invited back into your energy with this invitation. They want to come spin a block and come back around. They want to be invited because they have to be in your energy in order to really copy you to really be able to pull on your energy this person want to sit up look look they a little fake duck and you the duck they want you to tell them everything on how you do what you do so they could transform into you like the mass scientist This is for somebody. This person, it is very hard for them to take responsibility for their life. It's everybody else's fault. It's everybody else's fault. It's not them that they haven't done the work. This might even be, this is giving me the energy just for an example. But it's giving me this type of energy. So read between the lines and just put it where it fits. Like you in a marriage for some with somebody. And you're creating a business. You got a promotion. And this person is seeing this. And your husband is like. I'm not doing great. Because I'm always taking care of you. And the kids. And this. And that. And it's like. I. You are at the, the place that you are. And at the business because I helped you. You didn't do it alone. I mean like shit like that. They so angry at seeing you progress. I clarified this. And look you got the star. The wheel of fortune. I can't make this shit up. 
the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor. This person is just seeing that you are doing well with your Wheel of Fortune. And like, again, with the Emperor, like the Captain, you are in charge of your life. And this person is looking behind this fruit, hating, because they don't know how to control their will of fortune and be the emperor of their life. The first house, Aries, and get their self right and to get the star to get to their purpose, their North Node. They blame every damn body instead of doing the work. But really, it has nothing to do with anybody. They got to do the work and work on that cold ass, emotionless soul that they have. They got a lot of work to do. Because the first card with ice was ice disaster. Now you got ice again. This person is cold inside. And they need to fix that shit. And it's a lot of work. They got a lot of karma. Their soul is... Mm. This person... They got to stop trying to be other people. They got to stop trying to wear a mask. In order to, to cover their dead. Mm. Not just dead. They're just cold. Like... Like, this person might pretend like they're nice and everything, but they don't feel that in the inside. And they reflect people. They put on the mask of others and reflect that back to them because that's the only way they can show being normal. But really, they are not normal inside. This person needs to go back to their childhood and heal their anger. This person, shit, this person really, really needs to get, look into the gutter. They need to look at the trash and the dirtiness and the darkness in their soul before they can move forward. They are not going to be able to move forward until they deal with this dirtiness within them. This dirtiness that has made them cold inside and emotionless. Like a zombie. This person is like a... This person is like a zombie inside. Leg. This person better get their shit together. It ain't... It wasn't easy for you. Leg. You got an arrow in the culo. You got an arrow. Like, no matter what was happening, arrows all up in your ass, you still move forward and you did the work. Promotion, hard work, dedication, loyalty, career. Imagine how hard it is to climb up a ladder with a damn arrow in your ass. Okay? This is what that shit feels like to pay back your dues. Being able to move forward and learning your lessons even though you got an arrow in the culo. I got retreat after that car and I was like, oh, this person just need to go sit down somewhere and do the work. And so I clarified the card. Guess what? I was like, see, spirit. This is one of those times I'm like, oh, I would put this out on camera. Look, do the work. This person needs to retreat and do the work and walk with the cool with the uh arrow and the cool out. It's not enough to dream or pray, especially that person trying to do magic to bypass their will of fortune. 
you've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish. They got to make this lifetime. They got to learn how to make the right choices like you. Like a lush flower garden. What did I say? What did I say? For those that actually garden, that shit is hard work to keep everything alive. As a matter of fact, after this reading, my tomato plant, I got to pluck it. It got some mold on it. I got to spray it and everything so it don't take over my tomato plant and shit. Like, look. And block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. This person ain't got no time to be playing and spying on you and comparing themselves to you, competing with you. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics. Get off the damn internet looking at you. Getting off the damn internet looking at your platform. And avoiding anyone or anything that dis distracts you from what's important. They need to mind their own damn business. You already know that these distractions, what you already know what these distractions are, and you have the power to responsibly block them out. This person with all these swords and shit like that, and the lowest octave on the mind, they need to learn how to control their mind and their choices. And they're focused. They got so much work to do on the mind. They don't have no time to be paying attention to you. Uriel Trust. And I got donations, tithing, and charitable work. Like, look, this person that's being a fake spiritualist, yo. Mm. Give joyfully. To the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. I, man, you can't make this up. Like, it don't matter how much money you get. The core of being a spiritualist, like, yeah, it's an even return. And you're going to get that. But that's not the focus. The, fo the focus is true giving. From the power of your soul and the work that you have done and what you have learned. That's, you're supposed to give that freely, not to where you drain yourself, but as a spiritualist, and you're going to do this as your job or whatever, you know that that is the core of why and what you do. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. And know that your generosity, I said this and I didn't even read this before. Your generosity will be returned to you many fold. This is something we know. I've given so many people free spiritual work. I spend hours with people, like people in my job and like their spirit guides tell me to get to work on them. And I've given Multiple readings, hours. These people have called me late at night and I've talked them through pain. Didn't get a dollar. Wasn't supposed to. I know spirit going to pay me later. I don't even think about that. The, one of the particular people I have in my mind, they have won their spiritual battle and they are living their life. And that was my payment. I mean, that was enough for me. But I know spirit later down the line, they're going to they gonna, they gonna give to your girl. Y'all give to me all the time. This is something we know as a real initiated spiritualist. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your, po power, that your positive energy multiplies. Hey, this person... For in particular, that's fake spiritualist that's comparing themselves to you. They ain't going to get shit. Because they are not doing it from this energy. Trust and donations, tithing and ch charitable work. They are not 
doing it from this space. They're going to get very little and it's going to be short lasting or they're not going to get anything at all. And freedom. They need to understand this for the, comp the, the, the group of the people that's not doing magic. There's people in your life. The fake spiritualists, they need to know. They need to do the work. They need to mind their own damn business. And whatever they do, they need to do it from a pure, good space in order to be free. Damn, this is a long ass reading, but it was meant to be. That was directions for spirit. And I'm a vessel. I am a cosmic servant. This person wants completion. They want to be a winner. Um, this is the overall, y'all. Final attainment, victory, a crescendo, a job well done, perfection, peak performance, prudence. But look, this is the cauldron. For the, I think I, a cauldron in one picture, I was like, mm-hmm. The cauldron. Inner alchemy. They got to do the work. It's some shit up in there, Brad. It's dirty as hell. Mastery. They have to master their own soul. They have to learn the lessons within their will of fortune. They are not bypassing that. They can burn all the wax in the world. Spiritual renewal. Consecrate. Contain rejuvenation. Discerning wisdom. They, they really need to learn alchemy within. Following. Loyalty, adaptability, cooperation, trust, reliability, sensitivity to others, service, receiving guidance. Hey, that, that compartment that is that fake spiritualist. They're not going to get no following. They're not going to get no following like you or anything like that. Without being real. With, without truly following God and the light and the true meaning of spiritual work. They're not going to get shit. Their channel is not going to work. Whatever the hell they're doing, it ain't going to happen. Revolution. How many times did we get revolution? Transformation. A radical change. Give up the old to make way for the new. A quantum leap. This is just confirming that this person is not going to rise like the phoenix until they do the shadow work. They got to transform. They, got, they ain't going to be able to copy you. They're not going to be able to find out information from you. In order to be a better person. They just. They're, I mean it's just not going to work for them. Now look. And he just lit. But anyway. They are. Man. They are at a standstill in your relationship. Alienation, a stalemate, stagnation, withholding, grinding to a halt, insensitivity, and mistrust. This person got so much work to do on a cold heart. They can't truly love you. Whoever this person is, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your relationship, your husband, your wife. They are not going to be able to truly love you until they work on this coldness within them. They see like it makes them even more cold because look, they barely have anything in their garden and your garden is abundant. They cannot help but compare themselves 
to you. And it just makes them even colder inside in regards to you. It makes them turn their back on you. It is what has made them turn their back on you. I hope I don't get flagged for that. Like, look. Prosperity. They want prosperity. But they got to do the shadow and look at their inner truth. They got to look beyond the illusions and develop themselves. Development, gradual progress, continuity, slowly but surely. They got to be willing. They want to do shit fast. They want to burn candles. Nah, you got to do the work and you got to take your time. Adaptability, a time honored approach. Adaptability. That's what I'm saying about the will of fortune, the ups and downs of the Dow. You got to be able to ride them when you're on the down portion of your will of fortune. You got to be able to adapt and ride. And learn your lessons and make the right choices even it when you're when the Dow is down. Marrying the marrying maiden. A compromising situation, subordination, succumbing to seduction, manipulation, low self-esteem. And I am getting this in one of the compartments, like I talked about. Somebody of a spirituality and like even one of the examples that I gave was like um, a husband or a wife. Like, I don't know about this. This is a cold. This person, they seem cold to you and locked up in regards to you and your marriage or in your relationship because they are jealous of you. And I'm telling you, for real, this person is not going to be able to love you the way you need to be loved until they do this work. Mm. The Wanderer. Traveling, adventure, movement, coping with unfamiliarity, a pilgrimage, aloneness, Broaden your horizon. The arousing. Shock. A crisis. Upheaval. All inspiring. Dramatic power shifts. Unpredictability. A shake up. That's a wake up. Hey this person. Whether they're in a relationship. With you or not. I don't know how they're going to do this. If your relationship could be saved. You only you know your story. But there's a journey. That they need to take along. To jump start. Their soul again. To give themselves. Some power. Dramatic power shift. Crisis upheaval. You might even be need to like. Leave this person. Separate for a while. Get a divorce. I don't know. That's not like. I don't know what your situation is. But the energy is here. Like, they need a crisis. They need to be a separate. They need a divorce. They need something in order to, like, this is giving me this uh, lightning with this wonder is giving me, I forget those things. Um, and I should know I'm having a brain fart. But, you know, to get the heart started back again, this person needs some type of shock. Or maybe, like, they so down into the dirt, a shock or a crisis or a separation from you. In order for them to start to rock, to walk the path that they need to walk on. So that's what I have on my table. This, oh man, this reading is long as fuck. But it was like a lesson slash reading. So if you still made it to the end. Uh -huh. So let's see what else Spirit has to say.
Mm. Four of Cups. What do we need? The Six of Wands and that hit the ground reversed. Man, the Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Give me something for that Six of Cups. Give me a second, y'all. Clarifying the Six of Cups mm. is the Knight of Wands. Damn. Mm. This for somebody in particular where you know somebody is trying to copy you and compete with you. Spirit wants you to know that this person is in their emotions because they don't want you to succeed. They want to, and you might not be talking to this person, they want to come back into your energy back from the past. To compete with you. And to be in your energy so they can copy you. They're wounded in some way. Like, give me a, a clarifier for that nine of wands. Like, spiritually, you probably beat the shit out of them the last time they was in your energy. Uh-huh. Yup. Spiritually, you beat the shit out of this person the last time they were in your energy. They was being negative, sending you negative projections, maybe even doing magic on you, or even like you could feel this person was hating on you. And you was like, you blocked that shit and sent all they wands back to them. Look at this. This is eight and the ace. This is nine wands. And look at this finger. It got sent back and it it fucked they ass up. So if this was somebody that did magic or you blocked that energy, it went back. All nine of those wands that they wanted to stop you because they was competing with you. Hey, this can't be more clear. Hey, this can't be more clear of a return to sender. They sent out these wands, these nine wands, and they all came back. Ooh. What else? What else do we need to know? Ooh, they got beat up. Oh, they shouldn't have done dumb shit. What you doing? Just a big ass hater. And Spirit was like, stop hating. And sent all them nines, what? Them wands back. Ooh, they got beat up so bad. They got hit with everything they sent to you. Woo! Ooh, they got fucked up. They got... They got really fucked up. What else do we need to know? Mm-hmm. Mid-heaven, your career. I can't make it up. Give me something else. Mm -hmm. Give me one more. Give me a second, John. All of these? Uh -uh. Okay. 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 I got you. Okay. So spirit is just um, just for the collective as a whole. You want to know how to get to your North Hope node, your, your mid heaven, what you're so, people supposed to see you as, your mid heaven, the pinnacle in your chart. Like, with solar calm, clarify. Spirit is saying, if you haven't made it to your mid-heaven or your north node, you haven't made it to 
ultimately what you're supposed to do in life. Look at your chart and clarify that. Clarify the portal that you have come through. Clarify the energy that you're paying for from many lifetimes. The, the, what you, you paying your karmic debt. Look at the trines, the good aspects of your chart, what you have that um, you have mastered and use it to your advantage. Digest it with Virgo. Organize it. Structure the information you find out. Also, work on the negative aspects in your chart that I showed you. The squares, the semi-squares, the oppositions. And the transits, the will, how it transits and where you're at in the space and time. There's your charts and then it's the transit within your chart tells you where you're at and the will. Doing this will help you control your energy, activate your energy. What else? Home. Release. Boundaries. Ooh. Give me a clarifier for home. Clarifying home. Damn, safe travel. Ooh. Oh, damn. With no moon at the bottom. So, this is a long lesson. And Spirit put this out there because to tell you how much work that the person that you are in a relationship with, whether it's brother, sister, whatever the fuck this is. For a lot of you, Especially this energy of this marriage. Or you could be living in a home with your parents. Whoever this is that cannot congratulate you or whatever. You need to. I mean you can do whatever you want. But this is spirit's advice. You need to move away. Leave them. Separate from them. You can't be really near them. For a lot of these people. And this reading with this cold ass soul and shit like that. I mean, it's weighing down your energy spirit is saying. And you need to release them. Put boundaries on them. Because them being in your energy is weighing down your new life and what you're creating. Because they cannot be happy for you. They have too much work to do on their soul. If this has helped you, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time.